What's up, Rozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to the FNAF Pizzaplex timeline so far. This is the timeline that discusses the events of the Pizzaplexes that we see in Security Breach and Tales from the Pizzaplex, along with a few other extra details for context. Now, this is updated with uh, the content that we get from HAPS. And if you're watching in the far future, there may be a new version of this, re uh, of this video already out. Uh, so let's begin with B7. B7 is a story all about Billy, who was five years old when he was watching Freddy and Friends. Now, Freddy and Friends on tour was actually a series that was found deep from the archives of Freddy's. It seems like after Fredbear's was closed due to the bite, they rebranded from Fredbear and Friends to Freddy and Friends, meaning this story kind of has to take place after 1983 but it has to be in a year when Freddy's is actively open. If it were to be in 1984, for example, B7 would be 16 creation years old when he dies in the year 2000. Freddy and Friends would be discontinued from this point on and buried in the Fazbear Entertainment archives. FNAF VR was, of course, the in-universe VR game that set up Vanny for Security Breach, and it appears that Steve Snodgrass from the story Help Wanted was the rogue indie developer for at least FNAF 1, FNAF 2, FNAF 3, and Night Terrors. Remember that in Help Wanted, he only technically completed three out of four of the games that Fazbear Entertainment requested, but had Night Terrors while doing so, perhaps a nod as to why it's not called FNAF 4 in FNAF VR, it's called Night Terrors. Fazbear Entertainment forced him to make these games to clear up their bad reputation from the past, such as the Missing Children incident and the Bites. Meanwhile, in the FNAF AR email, Stephen Wilson scanned the circuit boards given to him by Daniel Rocher, and it has let out a fast-spreading virus by the name of Glitch Trap. Jeremy cuts off his face while playing the VR game, Vanessa plays the VR game after Tape Girl, and now has a split personality by the name of Vanny. Lewis notices some weird stuff that she's been searching for, and Vanessa receives therapy from multiple therapists as they are each killed off one by one by unknown patient 46. It turns out that Freddy Fazbear's Pizza may be closed, but there's a new location coming soon, shown in the background of the Holiday DLC. This is supposedly Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex, and it is being built right on top of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place from FNAF 6, which was previously Fredbear's Family Diner, meaning even further underground is potentially the remains of Circus Baby's Entertainment and Rentals. They want to turn the pizza place into a tourist attraction, and in the first Tales epilogue, we see the Glamrock animatronics being imported, along with a bunny guitarist Endo with a scorched body and orange eyes. Gil programs it to break the heads and limbs of the Endo remnants from after the fire, but instead it breaks off his and the limbs of several other workers. With curiosity, a group of high schoolers decide to investigate the construction site of the Pizzaplex. The entrance is sealed with concrete, but they find a vent opening in the roof. They drop to the ground to find a load of endoskeletons lying everywhere and 11 decapitated human bodies on the floor in a pyramid shape. The group tries to escape, but they are completely sealed in as they hear metallic footsteps coming toward them. And at the moment, that's all we've got from the epilogues, but you know that there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff that happens with Vanny potentially importing Glitch Trap into the Endoskeleton and it becoming Burn Trap. So the Mega Pizza Flex is finally opened with Glamrock Freddy, Glamrock Bonnie, Glamrock Chica and Roxanne Wolf and it looks vastly different to how it looks in Security Breach with a VR booth, a role play area and a roller coaster called the Fast Freddy. The Mega Pizza Plex most likely opens in May because of its recent opening in under construction and this could be in the year 2029 as the quarterly Faz Life magazine sound to have started over five years prior to Security Breach in 2035. Maya dies in the world celebrates you in under construction leading to that attraction being shut down. Under Construction also mentions the plastic tube maze from HAPS, so it's safe to assume that HAPS takes place some time after. It's good to note that HAPS replaced some staff, so it probably wasn't 
uh, immediately after the pizza plex is opening. The two children in that story are killed, Haps is decommissioned, and the entire tube maze is shut down. The next few events don't really have any dates attached to them, but we know that they took place while the mega pizza plex was open uh, before security breach in that kind of period. In Frailty, a child mentions the Mega Pizzaplex, and it seems to be years after an incident. A wrong decision that Jessica had made in the past. It's likely that she is a Eleanor victim, knowing that she holds a silver heart-shaped pendant, and she is, at the end of the day, just a pile of scrap metal. This is easily possible, as the Stitch Ray Stingers have to happen years after 2023. Eleanor also has many victims that we never see in the Fazbear Frights, and the nightmare that Jessica has seems to indicate that she may be coming back for the pendant. The duffel bag messages tell us that someone called a strange group staff meeting in the evening, and they ended up being killed and replaced by staff bots. The only human worker we see in Security Breach is Vanessa, who was hired as the head security guard, despite the lack of prior qualifications. Glamrock Bonnie was lured away by Vanny into Monty Golf, so that Vanny would have more parts to rebuild Afton, and Monty would get a spot on the stage. And of course, there was a missing children's incident involving nine kids, one of them being Gregory. This temporarily closed the Pizzaplex, and presumably Gregory would return as a robot. All of that sets up the main gameplay of Security Breach itself, Gregory and Freddy explore the Mega Pizzaplex, destroying the other Glamrock animatronics and discovering Burn Trap in the Pizza Place. Whatever happens in this ending happens, and the Pizzaplex crumbles. Though it's unknown how the story will continue, it's safe to assume the ruined DLC will take place with the new protagonist exploring the ruined Pizzaplex after the Afton ending of Security Breach. Lally's game is the final thing we need to talk about, and specifically Selena's story most likely takes place sometime after Security Breach in 2035, as Cade was only a child when he went to the Pizzaplex. However, this is the only story so far that appears to be in a separate Pizzaplex altogether from the one in Security Breach, so we are unsure when it would have been open, or if it is even in the same continuity as the other Tales stories. And as far as all of the information we have so far, that's pretty much all I've got for a timeline. As more books come out and as the Ruin DLC is released, this timeline is going to get a lot more crowded and a lot more complex, so stay tuned on my channel for when I add more elements to the timeline. If there's anything I missed or got incorrect, uh, let me know in the comments below. But uh, apart from that, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you in another video. Goodbye.